right here, this bottom part was a half inch too short on the inside. So I measured across and it's about a half inch. Um, I need to go down each way. So I'm gonna measure down a half inch all the way across for the bottom of the hole and then draw a line with the straight edge and get the closest measurement I can. perimeter done and then I went back through and I painted the inside of that perimeter line so you could see it more but then once you go back over it with your stencil or your sharpie or whatever you wanted to use you get to clearly see the line when you draw it with sharpie or black paint pen or something but it stands out a lot better and it also helps you see your cut line when you're going through everything so comes up a lot better than just a pencil on straight up piece of board. All right, so I wanted to explain what I was doing inside. Um, this is the angle finder. Um, if you guys can see, the transom has an angle to it. So what I was doing was finding the angle so I could set the saw blade to it so when I cut the bottom of the whole angle, it's gonna line up with this. So, because when you put the transom in, it's not gonna be a 90 degree, it's gonna be like probably like a 1, 105, uh, depending on what angle transom you have. But this gets the saw blade cut so the bore sits flat against the bottom of the hole and also against the back of the transom. Just a quick reminder for you guys when you guys are cutting the angle of the hole to the transom. So this is how I had it when I had it inside the boat, okay? So the, the black part is the back of the transom. So you take that and this is the face, let's say. This is where you're gonna be looking for if you're inside the boat. This is what you're gonna be looking at when you install it. So this is backward. Now that you have the correct angle, 
you can act like this is the back, right? Because this part right here is the back of the transom. That's the bottom of the whole angle. So back to back, that's how it's supposed to sit. So you'd put it up there like this and make a Sharpie mark like I did over here. Those are the two marks. Set your angle with a Sharpie. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And then take your skill saw or whatever your saw blade is and match the angle. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a pretty even fit all the way around. I'm quite happy with that. So there's a little bit of stuff up here that I grinded down old glass and I didn't want to cut that out because I'm going to be filling that in anyways because this is just a fit for right now but there's little stuff here and there but anything over a quarter inch maybe but that can be filled in so I think I'm done for tonight. I got that one piece of Kusa board in. It fits pretty nice. There's a little bit of a gap just because the, the bottom is not a direct 90 for the Kusa board. So I'm gonna round the edges of the Kusa board once I take it back out. But, and then everything needs to be sucked tight because it's just, just sitting there, so. But I'm, I'm pretty happy. It fits pretty nice. Not too snug, not too tight, and not too loose either. So I'm about to, I'm probably gonna quit this video today and I will be back in a few days to laminate all the pieces together. So, got these two sheets here and we're gonna laminate them together and then we're gonna start going back together with this project. So I'm looking forward to that. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next project and thank you for watching.